Hey, what's up, Gomez gang? Today we're going to talk a little bit about proportional relationships, more importantly, on a data table. Now, of course, for a relationship to be proportional, there must be a constant of proportionality. Constant of proportionality, again, is how to get from X to Y every single time. So, in order for these tables to be proportional, there has to be a constant of proportionality, which we will determine shortly. We'll start off with relationship A. In relationship A, the table says that for two pounds of apples, the cost of apples would be $3.76. It goes on to tell us the price for three pounds, four pounds, and five pounds of apples. The easiest way that I recommend doing is trying to find the unit rate on this table. In other words, finding what one pound of apples would be equal to. If I divide both sides by two, I would get to $1.88. Now, if that was the case, I need to multiply all of my pounds of apples by 1.88 in order to get to my cost of apples. Now, if I had a calculator and I determined 3 times 1.88, that got me to 564, which is what I'm looking at. If I did 4 times 1.88, I got to 752, which again is on my data table. Last but not least, 5 times 1.88. Now another way to do that, you could add the three and the two pounds to get to the five. Similarly, you can multiply the two pounds by two to get to four, and etc. I get to $9.40, which I know that this table works because there is a constant of proportionality of 1.88. $1.88 per pound, that is what I need to multiply my number of pounds of apples in order to get to my cost. Now for relationship B, I'm noticing a little bit of a pattern. I'm noticing that every time I add a topping, I'm adding $1.50 to my price. Now, although I do see a pattern, I'm not sure yet if this is a proportional relationship. Now, if I wanted to determine what I need to multiply my number of toppings by in order to get to my cost of pizza, I would do $11.99 divided by 2. And I get to a kind of weird number, but it's 5.995. Now, in order for this to be the case, I need to find out if 5.595 is what I need to multiply throughout the table. If I did 3 times 5.995, I got to 17.985, which is obviously not the one I'm looking for. In addition to that, I know that if my number of toppings was 2 to get me to $11.99, in order to get to 4 toppings, I would have to multiply my cost of pizza by 2 as well, which does not happen. Therefore, A is the only one that is proportional with a constant of proportionality of 1.88. That matches answer choice A. A quicker way to do this is to look at the answer choices first. And if you notice, all of the answer choices state that B is proportional with the exception of A. If I started solving with relationship B and noticed that relationship B does not have a proportional relationship, I could have eliminated answer choices D, C, and B because they all tell me that B is proportional. Hope you enjoy.